April 14, 1912, 11.40 p.m. She strikes the iceberg. By 2.15 a.m., it's the beginning of the end. The bow pulls down. The stern rises. Funnels collapse. The ship fractures. The entire bow hangs on the double bottom. Amazingly, it holds on. Finally, the double bottom lets go. The bow heads down. It sails as it falls, taking perhaps five minutes to reach the bottom. The cargo hatch flies off. The structure creases and the back end collapses. The fate of the bow seems straightforward. The team believes it's what happened to the stern that reveals if Titanic had a fatal flaw. Once the double bottom releases the bow, the stern briefly settles back. And eyewitnesses saw the stern settle back and for a moment thought, well, maybe the ship will float after all. But it's just a cruel illusion. Now she starts down. Boilers fall out. The deckhouse tears off. The double bottom bends back and separates. Now deckhouse and double bottom sail off to the east. The stern inverts and goes into a spiral. The tower debris and galley decks come off. Finally, it hits, blowing out the sides and top. 